Now, uh, as I mentioned, our uh, little tip of the week here today is about trimming elements to roofs and chills. And I'm going to talk a little bit about three different parts here. Um, first, I'm going to talk about how you trim elements to roof and shell. And the way that you do that is you first would go and select the elements to trim. So let's say, for example, you've gone and you've drawn your walls. Uh, and then you've drawn your roof um, and maybe a sloped roof like this and a, a barrel vault roof like that. The barrel vault roof would be drawn with a shell. And the roof, of course, here would be drawn with a roof tool. Once you've, uh, you know, drawn the elements, you would select uh, all the elements uh, that you want to use both to, the elements to be trimmed as well as the roof and shells that you'll, you'll, you'll trim too. You then select the design uh, menu, uh, connect, and trim elements to sh roof shell. A dialog will appear, looks like this, and you select the option here to use roof shells from current selection, and then it's going to trim that uh, appropriate to those elements. Now you can also trim elements by using uh, what's called uh, the cursor click option. And this is particularly helpful when, for example, maybe all the other walls in your project are already trimmed, but you maybe made some changes or added in a new wall here. And you need to trim this wall as well, but you don't need to go through the process of trimming all walls. So in this case, I might select just that wall and say um, that uh, I want to you know, trim that element. So I'm going to select the elements to trim first. I'm then going to select Design, Connect, Design Menu, the Connect, Trim Elements to Roof Shell. And then what you'll see is a, a cursor will um, come up and it'll ask you, you know, to, to, in what you want to do next. Click the roof or shell element that you want to uh, use as your uh, uh, trimming um, uh, element. And then once you've selected that, so again, when I click on that roof, it will then make that roof be red and it will actually show the trimming body of that roof. Remember I talked about that earlier? Because now it's showing, okay, I'm gonna, this is my trimming body, this is my roof. And then I drag my cursor to the part of the element, in this case, the part of the wall, that I want to remain after trimming, okay? So I don't wanna click up here because it's gonna then trim uh, the bottom wall and leave these two ones to remain. So I wanna actually click on the wall below, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna trim uh, those two walls above, and it will then uh, turn off my trimming bodies and you're then ready to go. And then finally, the third little uh, 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 lesson here on, on our tip of the week is trimming intersecting shells. And the reason why you would want to do this is to, for example, create um, uh, when two barrel vault roofs come together, you want to be able to create a nice uh, intersection between the two. And you'll see that when I create a barrel vault, I drag it through and another barrel vault here, well, those you know are, are two different barrel vaults, right? And what we really want is to trim out uh, this part of the barrel vault and have a nice opening there and vice versa. So the way you would do that is to, before you start, of course, turn on your trimming body so you can see those while you're working. The way you do that is go to View Menu, On Screen View Options, and Trimming Bodies. Once you've done that, you select both shells uh, from the uh, Context Menu, uh, it means right click, go to connect and go trim elements to roof shell. You'll then have this dialog will appear again saying you've used roof shells for current selection. Go trim and then it will trim uh, those two shells to each other. So again this is a great way to kind of merge if you will uh, two shells together um, to create a uh, uh, connecting barrel vault roofs.